Hi everybody, it's Jim Manny from Jungle Gyms and JungleGymBoston.com. I'm a professional balloon artist and family entertainment expert. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my first of 10 great secrets to an amazingly successful birthday party for children between the ages of 3 and 10. Um, I want to tell you a story. So, I performed at a party last month where they were expecting maybe 20, 25 children. A little high for a birthday party, but not too bad. 55. 55 children showed up. I felt so bad for the mom. She was not prepared for that many kids. She was so upset. I calmed her down and let her know, hey, we're still going to have a great party. I shifted from the show I had planned to a more stage style presentation, and we made simple balloons for all the kids at the end. So you're wondering, where did all those kids come from? Siblings. Siblings are the hidden pitfall of many a birthday party. Every parent brought an extra child or two, and I found out later one couple had been watching their nieces and nephews all weekend, so they brought 10 kids alone. It's so tough. Parents think to themselves, what's the big deal? I'm only bringing one more child. It'll be fine. And I understand. That caramel latte served up with 40 minutes of child-free silence is beckoning. But you start to multiply that one sibling times 10, it's a hard situation for the host parents to handle. The problem is, how do you say no, especially when there's two siblings close in age? I admit, it's tricky if you're hosting the party. Let me share some ideas. All right, number one, invitation specific. When you're creating the invitations, be very specific about siblings welcome or no siblings please. Just like a wedding invitation, I know this is hard to be very specific, but I've performed at over 400 birthday parties and the less successful ones have one thing in common. Many more kids are present than were originally invited. It's okay to have a special day for your little man or little lady without an extra 10 children than you would plan on having. You don't have to be a babysitting service. All right, entertainment, my forte. Is your entertainment flexible? Many entertainers, including myself, charge more for more kids. Now we do this because it is extra time, it is extra supplies, but what we really won't tell you is it's extra energy. It's hard to give your best performance when you're also a referee or disciplinarian. If you are hiring an entertainer, you'll want to make sure he or she can handle the extra children that may attend. Most shows can be adjusted for the extra children, but the earlier notice the better. You need to be aware that you may have to pay more for time or end up with a lesser quality show. Now, if you're doing the entertaining yourself, are your activities easily able to accommodate a larger group? Do you have some backup activities to handle unexpected guests? Number three, head them off at the pass. As the kids arrive for the party, have you or your significant other greet them at the front door? Let parents know what time they should pick up the individual child by name. So for example, you could pick Jack up at 2 o'clock. This subtly lets the parents know that the party is intended just for Jack. Polite but firm is number four. And if it does seem like Jack's five brothers and sisters are going to be joining him, just let the parents know that many of the birthday activities are designed for just the invited guests, but you have coloring books for the other children in another room if the parent would like to stay with him or her. This should get the message across without ruffling too many feathers. So be strong. You can have the birthday child your party deserves. Excuse me, you can have the birthday party your child deserves. And it's okay to just be responsible for entertaining them and their friends. And if you have any questions, let me know.